quilts and I'm here to do my top sewing notions I actually had a top 10 sewing notions but I actually have a bonus one and it's not really a notion unless you want to consider the embroidery machine a notion so I am actually just including it as number 11 and it doesn't have to be this embroidery machine this is my Elisimo but my Elagio also is an embroidery machine but I like to use my embroidery machine to make my quilt labels and I just like them I just use plain text and I just put a frame around it I don't do anything super fancy but I just like having something that's more permanent won't have to worry about it ever erasing from the project number 10 on the list is a mechanical pencil and I just go ahead and use the disposable kind by papermate but anyway I like this pen because I always have a sharp edge and you just rotate the bottom and then the edge will come out and then I can also rotate it back the other way and then it will take the lead back in. I tend not to buy the ones where you can put in additional pencil leads because they never get into the right place. Parts start falling apart after a while so since these are disposable I just go with these. Number nine on the list is a magnetic extender. And I don't know if that's actually what this is called, but it looks like a pen, but it actually extends. So when you drop anything like screws or your straight pins on the floor, you don't have to bend to pick them up. But what I really like about this is when I'm working on my sewing machine, I can open this up and have my screws attach onto here so I can just keep them in place and don't have to worry about them rolling off my desk number eight on the list are the quilt clips and you can get any size you like I'm still using the original size I have two containers of these I like to use these clips when I'm working on bindings I like to press my binding over with the and press it with an iron and then I use these to hold it in place until I can hand sew around the binding or machine sew around the binding depending on the technique I'm using. But I really like these and you can also use these to hold uh, pattern papers in place while you're using them. There are so many different things that you could use the clips for to hold your all like pieces together. So they are a very flexible tool as well. Number seven on the list is O prescription bottles or old film containers I still have a lot of the old film containers and then what I like to do with them is that I use them to discard old pins and needles so that way I have a lot of stuff in here hoping it doesn't fall out just trying to make it so you can see and when it's fit full, then I'll go ahead and tape this all together and then I will trash them. But I like these because that way I'm not throwing open pins into the receptacle. I can actually put them into there, tape them up, and then I don't have to worry about anyone getting harmed by getting stuck with pins. Number six is... The half square triangulations, it's actually a file that's on a CD, it's one file, and I am aware that you can go online and download half square triangles that are already pre-printed and gridded for you online. I like this just because it's all in one file, and they start with a half inch grid, and whatever will fit onto a piece of paper is how many repeats you'll get on that paper. And you just print these out as you need them. And then if you were using like triangles on a roll or thangles, you're actually storing that product. Whereas I'm not actually storing anything. I'm only printing as I need them. So I was needing to make half square triangles that finish two and one quarter. This piece here actually printed on a piece of paper three times. And I've cut it apart so that I can make my half square triangle scrappy. 
if you don't want them scrappy i could have made a page with all of them on one page as well so i do like that i have choices and i don't have to store any of the product in my work area number five on my list is my knee lift and i will just take it out of my machine but this is a knee lift some machines come with them some do not I I think you would have to have more of an upper level sewing machine in order to get a knee lift. I don't think a basic sewing machine come with them, but if it does, I'm I'm glad for you because this is really helpful when I'm sewing over bulky seams. All I got to do, if this is into my machine, I just bump this and it will lift the presser foot for me and it will go over that seam and come right back down when I release. So I have been using this. It's one of those gadgets that I forgot to use you know how you take it off sometimes and then you put it up but I brought it out about a month or two ago and I realized how much I really like it number four on the list is the entire rotary cutting system so you have your rulers your mats and your rotary cutters and I like various things i like the rotating mats when i'm actually squaring blocks up i like my very long mat that i have on my long arm machine because i can use it when i am actually squaring up quilts i like the rotary cutters you got so many different kinds i like more ergonomic kind here i'm using one that's by ofa and it's ergonomic but i also like the martelli rotary cutter but i don't have it in a 60 millimeter blade and I do like cutting with the 60 millimeter blade because it just takes less rotations going around when I'm actually cutting. And then rulers. Of course, you got the full garment of different rulers that you can use. So just from what our ancestors use in quilt making, we are really fortunate to have the ability of using the rotary cutting system as a whole. Number three on the list is my studio die cutting system. I actually can cut so much faster on that system. And so this is one of the actual dies that I have. And when I store them, I actually write on the die what it is. And then I have my initials. I always write on the die so that I know that it's mine if I let somebody borrow it. But I like that I can cut multiple units. So this is a half square triangle one. If three and a half inches so what I do is I mark what size fabric I need to go for just one section if I just needed a little or the entire board which is written here and it's upside down but it's written right there so I know what type of fabric to cut I don't have to measure it every time I come to the board but the nice thing about the studio over the AccuQuilt Go cutting system is that the studio dies will cut 10 pieces at one time so it can go through 10 pieces of fabric whereas your go system will only go through six layers of fabric and i like the go dies because i can also use them in my studio system as well with an adapter but i also like the die cutting system because it's very quick to cut out appliques number two on the list you all already know about this is a wooden iron it doesn't have to be this kind it can just be any wooden iron i like using this when i don't want to go to my ironing system between every seam sometimes the more complicated my blocks are the less i will use a heated iron i'll use my wooden iron because i don't want to stretch anything out and i don't want anything to be shrinking up when i have a lot of pieces in the block i also use this when i'm doing string blocks i may press with a heated iron maybe three or four seams whereas the wooden iron i can use every time so it just prevents me from going back and forth for that because i don't use a large iron in my room i do have a, a mini iron that i use in my room but my large iron i have to go out and use it elsewhere and then my number one item is actually my ginger thread snips comes like this it has a little hook for you if you want to hook it onto something and have it on your neck but it has a cap that covers the clip and they're very sharp so when you're chain piecing i like to use these to cut 
the threads that are in between but what is really cool is that whenever I have half square triangles let me get one for you I can use this to snip the little edges it actually will cut fabric a little bit so here I have this little point up here I'm hoping you can see it so I just want to show you that it will snip and it probably won't show in the picture but I just snipped that and it was very easy a very easy snip so it's right here in my hand but I like them I don't do like I don't want to cut forever with them because I don't want them to get dull but I've had these for years never have had them resharpen and they are just a godsend so these are my favorite thread snips so that's it for my top 10 plus a bonus sewing notions I hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up please share with your friends and I'll see you next time bye bye